got the call at the age of 32 and in seemingly perfect health, he had a brain tumor. My approach was we will fight this. There, we are in a city with one of the best hospitals in the country. We will fight this, we will win, and you'll still be with us. But from day one, the neurosurgeons looked at the MRI and said, this is really bad. My older sister is a doctor, and I said to her, he will never walk his daughters down the aisle, will he? And she said, no, he won't. Because of the planning he had done, he knew that lifestyle issues weren't going to be a concern for him during his disability or after his death for his family. My goal for our having life insurance was um, as a, a security to me that should something happen to him, which I never dreamed it would, I would have immediate access to a lump sum of money um, that would then give me the peace of mind that I could stay with my children as long as I needed. And I remember driving to a doctor's appointment and he said to me, You're, you'll be okay. He died in September of 96, six months and three days after the diagnosis. That's what we do, and so we need to be there. And if, you know, and financial planning is, is making sure you have a platform to stand on in the event something happens. And that's what I was able to deliver. Having the, the life insurance as a central piece of our financial plan truly has given me the peace of mind and even the courage um, to do and continue living the kind of life Brian would have wanted for us. Ten years later, with two almost 13-year-olds, I am very busy. She takes us to like swim practice and all of our after school activities. They are very active girls, which I am happy about. They um, have very distinct interests. I do school sports and I have a lot of friends at school. I like music, playing the piano and French horn and doing theater. I enjoy watching those pieces of him that remain alive in them, then I know that he truly does live on. I tell you, Dean has been a remarkable mother and uh, provider, and uh, I've watched the girls almost become teenagers and have the health issues, and Dean has put herself second to her daughter's health and well-being, and she's just a remarkable, resilient woman. We have diagnosed each of them with a long-term life-changing disease. Hattie was diagnosed with a neuromuscular disorder that is progressive and degenerative. Dorsey, in the last two years, was diagnosed with Crohn's disease. My husband had more foresight than he knew. Soon after our children were born, Colin suggested to him that he buy a life insurance policy on each of them. Brian and I had no idea that his kids would have any health issues or any challenges, but because of the planning we did when they were born and there was nothing wrong with them, basically they have their insurance done for the rest of their life. I want my girls to thrive. I want them to have opportunity. And I truly want them to know who they are. It's important that we do stuff together since we're a family. We see ourselves as an all-girl family. When I think back over the last 10 years and the role that life insurance has played, it has provided for me a level of financial security and it truly has left me okay. We have a very full life, a very happy and content life, and enjoy each other and I'm trying my best to enjoy two 13-year-olds. <laughs>